Namaste and greetings and welcome to my YouTube channel, Healing the Planet from Within. If you're new here, my name is Carmen Santosha and I talk about all things personal development and spiritual development to improve your life. In this lecture, I want to share with you this very exciting seven step process to deepen your meditation. Now, this video is specifically for Reiki masters and energy healers because it's super important that you know how to deepen your meditation practice because this in turn develops your psychic powers and intuitive abilities. And as an energy healer, we're always working in the realm of energy. So this is super important element to know what you're working with. So what are we covering in this video? Well, first of all, you're going to be learning the seven steps to deepen your meditation more easily. Now, this is a process that was channeled that I channeled through uh, specifically designed for the students in my programs who were here to learn energy healing and to increase their sensitivity of feeling the energies around them. So this is a really amazing process and the results are amazing for everyone across the board so far. I'd like to check in with you before and after the meditation and evaluate how effective it was for you uh, this time and compared to other meditations. And I'd like to know your results. If you could please comment below, that would be really great. Why is it necessary for Reiki practitioners and energy healers to meditate? We're going to be going through that in it's really important part of your practice because if you're unaware of the energies around you, you're not an effective energy healer. Um, not as effective anyways. Okay. And how meditation is not only for stress relief. There are so many good things that you can do with meditation, unlimited possibilities. You can create your reality, uh, get unstuck from the poverty mindset, heal relationships, heal yourself, clear your chakras. There's so much you can do. And so this meditation process is the beginning steps to get you rolling. Yeah. Really important. And meditation, I mentioned this before, it does increase your psychic powers and intuitive abilities, especially when you're you do it over time. It starts to waken up some superpowers there. You're going to learn the Gayan Mudra in this video. Now the Gayan Mudra is very easy to use. And it, to me, it's like the cheat sheet to meditation. It just makes meditation more easy. And then at the end of this video, you're going to practice these seven steps with me. So I want to make sure if you're continuing to that part of the video that you're going to have a quiet space where you're not going to be disturbed for the entirety of the meditation practice, which isn't too long, but it's nice to have that peace of mind, right? There are a gazillion benefits to meditation. So I'm just going to cover a few of these for you. Um, it's well known now in scientific studies that meditation reduces stress. And when your body is in a state of chronic stress, it causes all sorts of ailments. We have headaches, migraines, digestion issues, heart problems. Uh, I mean, you name it. And so when you're meditating on a regular basis, especially using the Gaia and Mudra, it reduces stress and then your body can naturally heal. So that's a huge benefit, isn't it? Mental health, meditation, um, reduces stress. Now, stress causes anxiety, depression, uh, you know, feeling low, lethargic, all this kind of thing. And then because like, it just keeps you going, right? Even your nervous system is shot with chronic stress. It's just bleh. when you're meditating, it helps all that. It reduces that. So therefore, meditation reduces stress, anxiety, depression. It has many benefits, many, many benefits, but there's also many benefits to your spiritual development. Let's have a look a little bit more deeply what this means for energy healers and Reiki practitioners. So as an energy healer, it's necessary, and I'm going to use that word necessary, to become aware of your thoughts. Your thoughts, uh, if you engage with them as truth, 
create your reality, right? So when you're meditating, it makes you more sensitive to your thoughts. Mm -hmm. And what does this mean exactly? Okay. Let's say you're a healer, you're a Reiki practitioner, and you have your hands on a client. You have a thought that comes in. Now thoughts can come from the outside world, the unseen beings around us. And they can give you a thought that creates a negative feeling and emotion in your body. And you've got your hands on a client. Okay, no. It's important to be aware of your thoughts. So when something negative comes in, you can just let it leave and keep your vibrations in a high vibration state. Super important for energy healers to have that ability. It's called conscious awareness, right? In my Reiki 1 and 2 training, I have a few different exercises for students to go through to increase their conscious awareness of these. Um, awareness of feelings is the same. Um, you know, our feelings, our emotions create this energetic vibration in our energy system, in our matrix, in our personal template. And anything you're carrying as negative has this reverberation effect through your entire being. And then if you're doing a Reiki healing with a client, ah, okay. So meditation is super important because it heightens your awareness of this. Now, I'd recommend a few more practices if you really want to increase your conscious awareness and raise your level of vibration. We do that in my programs. Super important. Um, meditation makes you super sensitive to energies and it teaches you how to raise your level of vibration. Now, when you're at a higher level of vibration, you can communicate directly with your spirit guides and higher self. Why is that? Okay. In our mundane world, we live at a certain level of vibration, right? When we do the energy work, the personal development, spiritual development work that I teach on my YouTube channel and in my programs, this raises your energy vibration, right? So your energy vibration is up here. Now your, your spirit guides, your higher self, they live in this higher energy vibration. This is where they are. So when you're in a lower level of vibration, you can't communicate with them. You raise your level of vibration through certain practices, then you have access to infinite knowledge. Super important for energy healers, especially when you're working with a client that has intergenerational trauma, uh, negative toxic patterns from the family lineage, and you've got to go and find out where it first started. Sometimes you're traveling up lifetimes, generations of information and to, in order to unravel this. This is a real deep, authentic energy healer who can do this. They're very, very rare to find in the world. And um, that's why I like to teach my programs and my students will come into the programs learning this information. And in fact, one of my graduates who just graduated a couple of weeks ago, in one of our sessions, I was testing her abilities before she graduated. And she read out to me the three spirit guides who are currently working with me. My client didn't know how to do this before she started working with me. And then she was able to do it through these. Okay, now meditation is the beginning stage of this. So it's important to meditate. I'm hoping you're getting this really important to meditate. Um, and as I mentioned before, okay, as an energy healer, you're going through the different layers of healing. Healing happens on many levels. Okay. So meditation is important for energy healers to increase their focus. Now you've got thoughts, feelings, emotions going on all the time. But with a regular meditation practice, your thoughts are fine tuned and focused towards one thing. So you step into that healing room, the rest of the world is going to disappear and you're only focused on that client and their healing needs or your own healing needs. You know, it's super important to focus on your own healing needs as well, which is what we do in Reiki level one. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> okay and to develop higher abilities, which I've mentioned before, more meditation increases your psychic powers and intuitive abilities. 
Okay, so meditation is most important, the most important technique for developing your mystic abilities. Why is this? Oh, so much. I don't know how to describe all this to you. First of all, when you meditate, you learn to establish this base of energy. This is a foundation from which you're going to start developing your abilities and using your powers. Now, when you step into this, how can I describe this? This room, your psychic room for energy healing. It contains all the energies, all the knowledge, all the powers, all the wisdom. And this is your base. Now, meditation will make you super sensitive to finding this base of energy healing. So when someone negative is passing by you on the street, you can feel yourself thrown off and the base is destroyed, wiped out or manipulated, tainted. But before you do an energy healing or on a regular basis, you have a regular practice, you put that base solid there. So you maintain that space for higher being, a better living. And that's what meditation can do, make you super sensitive to the energies. So I'm recommending that you start meditating 10 to 20 minutes every day hmm, until you establish this base. And then you can be flexible a little bit more because sometimes then you start to feel into the energies. Ooh, I need to meditate. I need to do my practices. There are tons more practices other than meditation to reach that base level. But hey, meditation is the beginning stages. Meditation clears out any thoughts and emotions before doing Reiki, especially when you're using the Gayan Mudra, which will help you focus more, which enhances your power and your ability to listen to the spirit guides, your higher self. More focus equals more success. Mm, super important. And as I mentioned before, meditation connects you to that higher plane, that God source energy. So Meditation has got so much in it, guys, and I really want you to start this practice. I want to see everyone around the world knowing how to raise their energy vibration because I know in my heart and soul this is healing the planet from within. So, okay, this is just one step. Let's get on the journey. Okay, so there's a lot of confusion out there. Some people just beginning on their meditation journey think that they have to sit cross-legged to do a proper meditation. You can meditate any way you want. In fact, when I first started, my energies were too busy. I was young and I could not sit still. So I did standing meditation and I could feel the energies flow through me. This is Qigong um, and that is a great way to do it. So, okay. So for now, we're going to sit still for this meditation practice and you can sit right there where you are and in a few minutes, I'm going to take you through the meditation practice and you close your eyes and you tune in and just listen to my voice. You can sit cross-legged, but a lot of people are not comfortable with cross-legged positions. And I wasn't at the beginning, but now every day when I'm watching something on YouTube or movies or something, or even reading a book, I'm sitting in my meditation position and you know, leaning forward this way, that way, so that my meditation posture is comfortable. This helps to deepen my meditation practice. So the idea is that you stick to one posture. So your body and mind become familiar with the routine. So choose your posture. You can be laying down. You can be sitting in your chair. Um, you can be sitting on a yoga mat. You can, you know, whatever you want to do. The most important aspect of your posture is to have your head neck and spine in a straight line and you can imagine as if you had a rope at the top of your head you're pulling this rope and straightening everything out now there's a good reason for that is because once you get deepening into your meditation uh, if i'm meditating for an hour and my neck was a little bit not straight i'll have tension here that kind of creates a headache so it's really important to keep everything straight relax your muscles Pay attention to your jaw, especially, and your shoulders and your neck, and just constantly remind it to relax during your meditation. And then, of course, remain still, and that's quite well known for meditations. Before we begin our meditation practice, I'd like you to check in with yourself how you are feeling. How are you feeling right now? What's going on for you? because I'd like you to compare how you're feeling now 
compared to how you feel after the meditation. But as well as if you've done meditation before, I'd like you to compare the results from this meditation compared to your other meditation. I'm a big fan of getting results, so I want to know how effective this practice is for you. Please comment below uh, your results. Did it feel good? Um, how effective it was for you? What did you like most about it? And, and if it got you to that really nice peace of mind. You can also rate this seven step process on a scale of one to 10 compared to other meditation experiences. So let's say you've had another meditation experience, you've tried meditation before, and you'd probably rate it out of a two because it wasn't very good for you. And then you try this one and you say, oh, this one might be an eight because I really got to a deeper state of meditation. I want to know, I want to know how effective this one is, this meditation is for you on a scale of one to 10. Okay, so next, let's look at the Gaia and Mundra and how you can use that in your meditation, but also the benefits. So Gaia and Mudra is the most common mudra for meditation. I have a few different mudras that I rotate through for my meditation, depending on what I'm needing at the time. The benefits of the Gaia and Mudra are amazing. So how you do it is you touch the tip of your index finger to the tip of your thumb very lightly, not a hard pressure, and then your palms go up. You can rest them on your legs, just like this picture of me meditating here in Thailand, rest them on your legs. It's really that easy. Okay, so the benefits, it improves concentration. It creates that concentration in the mind. It reduces stress, anxiety, and depression controls emotional stability, it's beneficial for your brain, it cures insomnia because it makes you feel peaceful and relaxed. Now, this is um, not a quick fix. If you do it for five minutes, hmm, okay, five minutes one day, kind of, you can see the benefits. If you go for 10, 15, 20 minutes and do a regular practice with Gayan Mudra, you will notice the benefits. That's how mudras work. It works over time, yeah? Okay, so this is what we're going to use in this meditation practice. I want you to hold the Gayan Mudra. Yeah, okay. I want you to notice the difference. It's, to me, it's the cheat sheet to meditation. It straight away puts me in a state of meditation. No trying. Okay, so let's look at the seven steps so that your mind knows what we're coming up to, right? Awareness of your surroundings. The first step I'm going to talk you through in this meditation voice I'm going to put on with nice soft music. You're going to go through and be aware of your surroundings. The sounds, the smells, the temperature, the chair, the floor. Um, and then we're going to shift it into being aware of the thoughts and just observe them, watch them. The third step is being aware of your feelings. How did you feel stepping into this meditation practice? Four, you become aware of your body, noticing the tension and releasing. Awareness of your breath, just aware of your breath, the inhale, the exhale, and taking deep breaths, and just bring your awareness to your breath. Step six, is awareness then of the silence. So you can see that slowly you retreat from the mundane world into the inner world. And I found this most effective. I get the best results with all my clients. Um, and in fact, this meditation practice was channeled down specifically for my programs um, because people uh, I guess they were struggling to really understand the depth of energy and the depth of meditation and where you can take it to. Um, some people tend to rush through meditation and then very get little minimum effect, um, positive effect from it. But deepening mere meditation is the way to go. And this six, seven steps takes you deeper and deeper um, very easily. And everyone's had an amazing results with this. The seventh step is becoming aware of the God source. 
Um, the God Source Energy has many names around the world. It doesn't matter how you name it, as long as you can feel it deep in your relationship with the God Source. So these are the seven steps. Now your mind is aware of it. And so I'd like to take you through the practice now, if you're ready. So I want you to have a quiet space before we start this meditation practice. Um, make sure people know that you're going to be meditating soon. Uh, close the door, turn your phone off and make yourself comfortable. Now you can sit in front of the computer just where you are right there for this practice. The idea is that you learn the seven steps so you can watch the video time and time and time again. Come back here to my YouTube channel, share the video with your friends on Facebook, make sure you know, you know the steps very well. And, and then once you've practiced a few times, you don't need the video anymore. You don't need the steps anymore. You don't need information anymore. And you can simply go into the meditation state. Yes, of course, practice the seven steps, become familiar with them, but then meditation will start to evolve within you. And that's when life gets exciting because that's when you really start increasing your psychic and intuitive abilities. Wow, I have got so much to share with you in this. And if you're really interested in learning the depth of developing your psychic and intuitive abilities, I want you to come on board with me in my different programs. I have the Mysteries of a Modern Mystic program that's specifically designed for energy healers who have certification in like um, acupuncture, uh, emotion code, body code, Reiki, this type of thing, and they're missing information. They don't know how to talk to the spirit guides or heal themselves yet. Um, so this course is meant to deepen that. Now, um, I also have a Reiki master certification program where you start with Reiki level one and then go into Reiki two, and then you come into Reiki master with me. So. I mean, I can rattle on about my programs, but I'm going to direct you over to my website so we can get into the meditation practice. <laughs> okay. Okay. Making yourself comfortable now. Close your eyes and just pay attention to your surroundings. First, I want you to listen to the noises around you. You might hear birds. You might hear traffic or children playing. Maybe someone's in the kitchen. You can also hear the sound of my voice. Pay attention to all the noises around you and know that all the noises around you are going to deepen your meditation practice. We're going to use the noises to deepen your meditation practice. So deepening now by listening to the noises, perhaps the noises in my room, in my environment, or maybe you're hearing the noises in your environment. Just pay attention to all the noises that you hear, including my voice. Now I want you to be aware of the temperature. Whether it's hot or cold, I want you to feel the temperature on your skin. Just feel the temperature of the room right now. Is there a breeze there? I'm just feeling the temperature. Now I want you to bring your awareness to the chair, floor, or bed that you're sitting on. And bring your awareness to the contact point where your buttocks touch the chair, where your feet touch, where your back is touching. And just be aware of where you're sitting and the touching points. Very good. Very well done. Now I want you to become aware of your thoughts. 
thoughts often stroll through our mind every day, every minute. But today we're going to observe them. Imagine yourself sitting in a movie theater and the thoughts are on the screen. I want you to observe the thoughts coming and going, coming and going, coming and going. If there's any background thoughts that are not yet on the screen, I want you to project them on the screen so you can observe them more easily. Thoughts are always there. And they only create our reality if we engage them as truth. But if we're simply observing them, they do not create our reality. Do not be attached to them. Do not judge them. Simply observe your thoughts coming and going, coming and going. Now I want you to bring your awareness to your feelings. What feelings did you bring into this meditation practice? How are you feeling right now? Do you feel the stress from work? Are you feeling agitated, frustrated, content? Perhaps you are worried about something, feeling anxious. I want you to just watch those feelings if they are sitting in a chair in front of you. They are just there with you. Just observe your feelings. And now I want you to go a little bit deeper into your feelings. We often have many different types and variances of feelings in our physical body at one time. I just want you to go beneath the layers and just feel the feelings there. What has been suppressed and what is trapped. Just observe them. There's no reason to react to them. We're just watching our feelings right now. You know, put them in the chair in front of you in your imagination. Just watch these feelings and emotions. Just observe them. Whether they are negative or positive, we're only watching them. You're doing very, very well. We're going to go deeper into the meditation now. More deeply into the meditation. By bringing your awareness of your physical body. I want you to feel the posture that your physical body is in right now. Are you sitting? Are you laying down? And I just want you to bring your awareness now to your toes, to the bottom of your feet, to the top of your feet, to your ankles. Bringing your awareness now to your calf muscles into your knees, the front of the knee and the back of the knee, to your thighs, bringing your awareness now to both legs, the entire legs from top to bottom, including your feet, bringing your awareness now to your thighs, your hips, to your pelvis and then your abdomen in your lower back, put your awareness now on your spine from the bottom to the top, aware of your chest, and observe your solar plexus just for a moment, and then your shoulders, traveling down your arms, down to your elbows, bring awareness of your elbows. 
in the lower part of your arm, your wrist, your palms, top of your hand, your thumbs, and your fingers. Hold your awareness of your hands for a moment, the entirety of your hands. And then travel up your arms and feel your whole arms, the entirety of your arms. Now observe, bring your awareness to your neck, the back of your neck, the front of your neck, your chin, your ears, your jaw, your forehead, your eyebrows, your eyes, your nose, upper lip, bottom lip, and your cheeks. Be aware of the top of your head, the back of your head, the sides of your heads. Bring awareness now to your hair and your scalp. Have full awareness of your whole body now and feel more deeply relaxed into this awareness. Now we're going to deepen the awareness, deepen your relaxation, deepen the meditation, deepening, deepening further now. I bring your awareness to your breath. And observe your breath. Feel how your breath feels coming in through your nostrils. Feel the inhale, feel the exhale. Just normal breathing. This breath is a breath of life. And your first breath was when you were born. And ever since then, this breath has continued up until now. This sacred breath that keeps you alive. Just observe the breath. And with every breath, creates prana. And the prana is the energy that keeps us alive. Prana, chi, ki, different names, different cultures. This is the breath observing your breath very very good now we're going to deepen your meditation further deepening deepening i want you to bring your awareness to the silence the silence that's always inside of you underneath all the layers of the thoughts and feelings there's silence. I want you to sit in the silence for some time. doing very very well we're going to deepen this now meditation to the final stage the final step I want you to bring your awareness to the God source energy the energy that creates our reality that creates our life this is the God source energy that creates our physical body. This is the God source energy that creates the chair you are sitting on. Bring your awareness to the God source and sit in this higher energy for some time.
Very good. I'm coming back to the mundane world now. Coming back into the physical body. Bring your awareness to the physical body by wiggling your fingers and your toes. Bring your awareness now to how the physical body is feeling. What are the feelings you have right now? What emotions are you experiencing? Bring yourself back now to awareness of your thoughts. What are you thinking? What thoughts are on your movie screen? Very good. Bring your awareness now to your surroundings. And pay attention to the noises that you hear, to the chair you're sitting on, to the contact point where your buttocks is sitting, and where your back is touching, and where your feet are touching. Bring awareness to your surroundings, listening to my voice, listening to the noise around you. And very soon you're going to open your eyes and come back into the mundane world, coming back into reality. Are you ready? By the count of three, you're going to open your eyes and feel refreshed and energized. And you're going to feel whole and complete. And you're going to feel much more relaxed and content than you did at the beginning. And I want you to know at any point in time you can do this practice. Five, 10, 15 minutes a day. You might even go for 30 minutes. But this practice, this seven step practice is a gift I give to you now. It's for you to use to improve your life, to improve your quality of living, to increase your happiness and well-being. This is a gift I'm giving to you. And I'm so very grateful that you're here with me right now learning this because I know how effective this is and I know that this can change your life for the better. Wiggle your fingers and toes, stretch your physical body and start coming back now. And you can open your eyes for the count of three. One, two, three. How do you feel? Now, this is the point in our practice together that I'd like you to feel into um, how you felt before the meditation and how you feel at the end of the meditation. Maybe write down some notes about how you're feeling now and maybe rate this meditation practice on a scale of 1 to 10. Most importantly, I'd like you to comment below and share your experiences so that others will know what this meditation practice can do for them, how they can feel, how it can benefit them. Now, you know that if you do this every day or at least on a regular basis, it will start to develop your sensitivities to energies, your ability to remain consciously aware and to raise your energy vibration. And those practices lead to psychic powers and intuitive abilities and super sensitive energy healing abilities. So I'm hoping you enjoyed this and that you've got an amazing benefit. I know I feel great and I was just talking you through it. <laughs> so summing up, we covered the meditation has many physical, mental and spiritual advantages. And the significant importance for Reiki energy practitioners and energy healers. Um, when you're working in the realm of energy, it's super important to have this awareness and to know this practice. And that's the reason why this meditation practice is in my programs. People learn this um, because this is a super important foundation for um, energy healers to improve your life. So I'm sure you're more familiar with now if the posture you chose was beneficial for you or whether you might choose a different posture for the next time you do the meditation. 
And did you notice a difference? You were holding the Gyan meditation mudra throughout the meditation practice. I'm hoping you noticed a big difference. Um, I'm sure you did because I know how effective it is for me and everyone else who holds it. And and how did you feel? Like, I want to know how you felt through my meditation seven step practice. I'm not going to copy Mark or trade this practice because I believe it's just a, a process. It was channeled down through me for my students. And I believe it's just a process, a gift that I can give to the world because I want you to have a good life. I don't want you to be stuck in struggles and misery anymore. I want you to feel and know that you can positively change your life and i'm super excited to have you in my programs okay so this is an invitation for you to work with me i have personal energy healing sessions where i work with my clients i shift into trance state and see the energy vibrations that you're carrying now find out what's stuck there that creates these stuck and stagnant energies for you to feel physically ill uh, have mental health issues um, feeling stuck and trapped in toxic patterns whether you, you have a poverty mindset or communication problems and relationships at work um, anything anything we work on anything because i'm not actually doing the work I just hold that higher energy vibration for the spirit guides and higher selves to come in and, and tell me what's needed to be done. And we work together as a healing team to improve your life. So I work with women around the world who are stuck in toxic patterns so they can move forward in life and business and create the reality. So those are healing sessions when I'm doing the work for you. Then I have a spirit guide audio course program that teaches you how to talk to your spirit guides. This is a very basic practice, but you can download it for free on my website. Absolutely. Just in a gift I'm giving to you. And I also have free personal development worksheets um, that you can go to on my free personal development worksheet page, download them, work on them. The reason for this is because I want you to start getting familiar with personal development and the patterns that you carry. This is the beginning stage. Now, if you're interested in learning how to do the healings, I've got two programs that you can step into. The first one is my Reiki certification program, where at the end you receive the Reiki master certification and turn around and teach your students. Now, this is a process. You can start at Reiki 1 and just do the Reiki 1 course. That's completely fine, right? Completely fine. Um, but if you're eager to, to do more, then you can step into my Reiki 2 program and Reiki Master program. Now, the Reiki Master program I sell as a package. It's a three to six month package according to what speed you want to go at. The package includes absolutely free your Reiki 1 and 2 training because there are so many versions of Reiki in the world that are watered down that people who have done the Reiki 1 and Reiki 2 with other masters don't know how to do self-healing, how to feel into the energy vibrations. They don't have psychic powers, intuitive abilities. They don't know um, how to reprogram their mind. They don't know the energy exercises. They don't know anything about the real form of Reiki because in the Western world, it's very watered down, just hands-on method. Mm. There's a lot more about that. And I have a blog on my website and a YouTube video that talks about the watered down version of Reiki and how disappointing it is for someone like myself. Okay. Now, I also have Mysteries of a Modern Mystic three months program that is specifically designed for people who want to enhance their energy healing, psychic intuitive energy healing powers. And we go into some sacred practices of mysticism. Um, I'm not going to explain that more deeply. Go to my website, read the details. And <clears throat> if you're feeling called to come into any of these practices, all you need to do is book a consultation with me. 
I don't have my email on the website for obvious reasons. There's spam and whatnot. You get a lot of weird emails. So this is how I do it. You book a session. In the session, you click the box saying which program you're interested in. Write a little blurb that you want to talk about it. I get an email telling me that I've had a booking and I read what you wrote there. I will email you back and we can start having a conversation about it. It doesn't mean you're booking a session, not necessarily. It doesn't mean you're signing up for the course instantly. It just means you want to talk about it. So book in a session with me. It's easy to do. Okay, so this is me and I'm really, really grateful that you're here in this meditation and that you've just learned the seven step meditation progress process that takes you from the outside world, the mundane world and into the more expansive, unlimited inside world. And I'm really excited because now I know you have the tools and technique right here to practice it every day. And it makes a huge difference on your life. And it's the first step along the journey of an amazing, amazing adventure. So, um, but I'm super excited to teach you all this stuff. Now, one more thing I need to mention is if you're an energy healer, I have a program that's designed specifically for energy healers. That's called the Business Online Success Strategies Program. It's um, how to market your energy healing on social media. And what we do is we design your program. You have 10 sessions with me um, and we brainstorm, design program, design your sessions, develop your skills, um, because I can help you develop your energy healing skills. And in fact, I've got to say this because in my Reiki master program, you do your Reiki level one and two certification, of course, absolutely free, but you also have 10 sessions to work with me. It's because I want to work with you. I want to get to know you. I want to know your passion, your dream come true and help you design this amazing gift that you can give to the world, right? So combining my programs um, of energy healing and online marketing is a pretty good technique. I've got a few um, clients who have actually done that. I want you to come on this journey with me. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you for joining me. Bye. Hey. Thanks for watching. If you could just push down there, there's that subscribe button. That'd be super awesome. And then go over here and push that like button. That's great. Thanks, guys. Thank you.